time for our unboxing. Motorola has an all new line of razors. We have two of them right here. This is the Droid Razor M, the model that you can get here in the US. Inside this box, we have the Droid Razor I. Now, before we start, I just want to say I'm super excited because our grip, Dave, made me my very own box cutter with my name on it. All right, let's bust it out. Now, as I mentioned, this is the international version of this sort of low-priced razor line. It's meant to be a little bit more affordable. The specs are just okay, but there are some key differences between the I and the M. One key difference that is obvious right off the bat is that the Razer I actually has an Intel chip, unlike the M, which has an Atom chip. Here we go. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, we have our international power brick. Comes with the earbuds and charging cable. That's a short little charging cable. I'm not a fan of that with the iPhone 5, so now I'm totally hyper aware of the length of all the charging cables. It's amazing what you can get obsessed with in life. So let's look at the phone. It is a 4.3 inch display which after all the sort of megaphones we've been unboxing lately looks tiny. Let's see, it's, I think it's gonna come on though, even though we didn't charge it up. Let's compare these side by side. And while we wait for this guy to start up, let's do some specs. This is Motorola's first Android device that contains an Intel chip. It's a two gigahertz Medfield single core chip. And I gotta tell you, at first blush, you can tell it's just a single core. It has a 4.3 inch edge to edge Super AMOLED display. It runs, I am sorry to report, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Jelly Bean is expected sometime later in the year. There's only eight gigs of internal storage, but there is a micro SD slot, so it's expandable to 32 gigs, not 64. There's also an eight megapixel camera, and the international version has a dedicated camera button. More importantly, and this is the reason that we wanted the Razer Eye, here's what the press release has to say about the toughness of this phone. Designed with premium protective materials, Razer Eye is built to go everywhere. A diamond cut aircraft grade aluminum four frame surrounds the display, which is made of Corning Gorilla Glass to deflect both scratches and scrapes. On the back, Razer Eye is made of DuPont Kevlar Strong 3. Spilled coffee? Caught in the rain? Don't worry. Razer is protected with a splash guard coating, even on the electrical boards inside. It's like this thing was custom designed for our torture chamber. Frankly, I consider all that a challenge. Now, as I mentioned, it's very similar to the Droid Razor M. We're not likely to see the I here in the US, so let's hear about what we're gonna get stateside. It has the same 4.3 inch screen with the edge to edge bezel and super AMOLED display, the same Kevlar backing. It weighs just 4.4 ounces and it has the same eight megapixel camera, a micro SD card slot for expanding the onboard memory, a front facing VGA camera. It is also running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich even though Google owns Motorola. And here in the US, it does run 4G LTE on Verizon. But that is not all. Razors just keep coming today. This, we actually sent someone right down to the store because this was just released on the day that we're taping, is the new Razer Max HD. We're gonna find out if Lin Fu wants to keep it and unbox it for your viewing pleasure. All right, so this is an update to the original Droid Razor Max. The main difference is that it's a lot bigger. It goes from the now kind of dinky seeming 4.3 inches to a 4.7 inch display. And then you remember the deal with the Razor Max is that it's supposed to have all day battery life. Considering that this is a 4.7 inch display and it's running 4G LTE, if that's true, this phone's gonna be pretty popular. Except for the always legendary crappy Motorola cameras. Sorry guys. All right, let's see here. Pretty fancy box. Apparently square power bricks are just it now. There's it. Charging cable and that appears to be it. No headphones. Okay, well, let's look, get to the actual phone. It's pretty thin, relatively speaking. It's got that kind of cool Kevlar looking backing. Let's fire it up. Definitely feels more premium than the Razer M, which it is. The Razer M is designed to be sort of a lower end phone. Let's power this on and let's go through the specs. 
It has this nice big 4.7 inch HD AMOLED display. It runs at 1280 by 720 resolution. It has a one and a half gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor, but a somewhat paltry one gigabyte of onboard RAM. It's available on Verizon on their 4G LTE network. There's 32 gigs of storage that's expandable through a micro SD card. There's an eight megapixel camera capable of shooting 1080p HD video. It does have an HDMI port so that you could show some of that video on your TV. It ships with, I am once again sorry to report, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich even though Google owns Motorola. More importantly, it has the same 3300 milliamp battery as the original Max. So three perfectly serviceable droids. I have to say, if I were going to pick one, I would probably go for the cheaper one. The Max HD is a really nice phone. It's obviously premium, beautiful screen, and I'm sure the battery life is great. But if I were looking for a droid running last year's operating system, I wouldn't want to pay that much for it. I mean, I'm sorry. I know maybe some people don't care about having the latest and greatest OS, but I cannot in good conscience really recommend a phone that isn't running the latest version of the software for security reasons and usability. Jellybean is really good, Google. Give it to people. Ridiculous. Anyway, there you go. Three perfectly nice razors.